Kalanthay Kondar was watching the elephant and palanquin enter the fort very carefully for some time. Wonderful! said. What wonder? What wonder? Anuradha asked. Prince Madhurandhagar is going to enter the fort with such a show. Prince is so shy. Will he travel without the palanquin curtain? Someday the shyness will disappear. Are you going to be crowned soon? Has it been decided to crown Madhurandhagar? Who decided? Why? It's the emperor. When we all go and give our consent to the emperor. The emperor has decided and what is the use of us giving consent? Shouldn't the Khajumbalar forces give consent? Prince Madhurandhagar is surprised to see him riding an elephant so cheerfully inside the fort guarded by them. Said Kalantagakangdur. He took a few steps towards the direction the elephant had gone and came back again. Then, looking at the great Pulavatarayar, he said, Brother. I do not stand in the way of all of you entering the fort. But I alone cannot come. I cannot enter the fort which was under my control till yesterday under the authority of others. My mind does not allow it. You should go and visit the emperor and find out what his will is. Take it. I will remain outside with our army. And Gandamaran has gone in search of Vandiyadeva. I am anxious to know what news he brings. I want to know how Vandiyadeva escaped from the dungeon. By whose help he escaped? Pardon me, and you all go into the fort. Said. Kajumbalar Velar opened his mouth to say something. At that the great squire interjected, Commander. This fool's brain is deranged. Let him go somewhere, let us go, come. Said. But the next day when all these details were reported to the emperor, he did not agree with the opinion of the great pundit. He insisted that Kalantagakangar should become Vand. My dear generals. You are all worthy of my trust. But of all of you I trusted the most in Kalantagakangdar, the fort guard. Why is it that until he comes, the task for which I have called you will not end? Said. Emperor. Forgive me. My brother will agree to any decision I agree to. He doesn't have to come in person. Said. The whole world knows that Thanatakari has given them the Kalantagakangar as Lakshmana did to Rama. But why didn't he come here today? In all the important councils I have conducted here before this, Chinapulvatare has been present. We have never taken any decision without consulting him. Why should a great player with such knowledge not come now? Asked the Emperor. Prime Minister Anuradha said, Lord. I will answer that. Kalantagakangdar has become a superior disciple of the Guru today. He refused to come even though the Emperor called him. He did not listen to the great Palyavatar and how much wisdom he said. He refused to come inside the fort. But don't forget one thing. The Emperor has said he will agree to whatever decision we make here. Said Parthipendra. But what is the reason for the little rascal's refusal to come here? Is there still some perverse suspicion in his mind? Doesn't Murundavan say that everything that is dark to his eyes is a ghost? He doubts whatever he takes now. He doubts whether Madhurandhakar is safe here. He doubts that Vandiyathevan has escaped from the underground prison. If there is any doubt in the mind of Kalantagakangar, it is not without cause. When the emperor said that, there was silence for a while. Different thoughts appeared in everyone's mind. The great Palyavatare cleared his throat and said, Lord, my brother's suspicions may or may not be justified. I do not want to blame him. But I will tell you the real reason for his refusal to come to the fort. This Tanjavur fort has been under his control for a long time. Now the fort is in the power of the great Velar. The guard has changed. So he cannot come into this castle. What can anyone do about his excessive preaching? Said. Why? Justice can be done. Said Emperor Sundarachola. When the Emperor said this, everyone was silent. Sundarachola again said, Ministers. The reason for the fame of the Chola clan is that the kings of this clan stood on the principle of justice. 
You all know the story of an ancestor of my clan who sentenced his beloved son to death for killing him by riding a chariot on top of a calf. What kind of justice would those who gave justice to cows give to their citizens? How would they have given justice to the generals who supported the regime? Why should I go against that tradition and bring disgrace to the Chola clan? It was great that Peria Velar took over the Tanjore Fort Guard from Chinapalyavetare. I failed to think about the injustice done to Chinapalyavetare as I was drowning in the grief of my dear son's untimely death. The commander should hand over the guard of this fort to him again. He said. Kajumbalar did not bow in the face of the big farmer. Thirukovalar Malayamon then came forward and said, Sir. When Tanjore Fort was under the command of the sub commissioner, did not he fulfill that duty properly? A conspirator had to enter this fort, even reached the palace Andapuram, and had to throw fire at them. A mute woman had to intervene and save their lives. What would have happened if he had not come at that time? What is the use of keeping countless swords, spears and spears lined up in this Tanjore fort? What is the use of having so many soldiers and valiant soldiers from the Vilakara force here to guard the fort? How could it be wrong to capture the garrison of Peria Velar Fort? He asked. Uncle. Who can be blamed for the cruelty of fate? Were you able to save their beloved grandson Aditha Kari Kalan? You all put in so much effort together. Said the Emperor. It is necessary to inquire about it, Emperor. There is still no investigation as to who is responsible for the fatal incident in the Kadampur Palace. The truth about it has not been revealed. Said Malay Aman. We were waiting for Pariya Palyavatarayar's arrival. Now that he has arrived, the investigation should start now, said Senate Paddy Pariya Velar. How did Van Diathavan, who was accused of murder, escape from the underground prison before the investigation began? We need to find out who is responsible right now. Said Parthapendra. Yes. I heard that too, Commander. How did Van Diathavan escape from the dungeon? Who is responsible? Asked the Emperor. Emperor. Prime Minister Anurudha must answer that. Said Peria Velar. Sir. I accept that responsibility myself. Van Diathavan ran away because of a small mistake I made. But I also accept the responsibility of bringing him back and surrendering him. If I fail in that, I will be punished accordingly, said Anuradhar. My friend Gandamaran has accepted that responsibility in front of the Prime Minister. He has gone in pursuit of the escapee from the dungeon, said Parthapendra. While all these discussions were going on, two ladies were sitting in that room. Their empress was Vanamadavi and the younger Prati was Kundave. Only Chief Minister Anuradhar noticed the change in the face of the younger Prati Kundave Devi when she heard the news that Kanamaran had chased Vandiyadeva. Looking at Parthapendra, he said, Pallava Kumara. Your friend Gandhamaran is very wicked. But in some matters it is useless to trust him. Couldn't he save Kari Kalar, the prince of the Chola nation, who had come and stayed in his own Kadampur palace? Can he catch Vandiyadeva who escaped from prison? I don't think so. Said the Prime Minister. He also saw to it that Kundave Prati knew the hint contained in his last words. Also, I've heard that Gandhamaran and Vandiyadeva are best friends. Said Sinadipati Velar. That's an old story Emperor. No one who has betrayed the Chola clan can be friends with the Sambuvarayar clan. Said the great Sambuvarayar. What is the talk about that now? Did Prime Minister Anuradha accept the responsibility of bringing Vandiyathevan back and entrusting him? He should hand over the guard of Tanjore Fort to the commander. Said Sundara Kalar. If this is the Emperor's command, I am ready to carry it out. Said Commander Pariya Velar. The tone of his voice revealed his inner anger. Uncle Kajam Balur. You are so much older than me in age and experience. I am devoted to you like my father. Can I command you? I have told you my opinion. Can you know the opinion of others here and see what to do later? Said the emperor. I don't want that. The little squire has failed in his duty. 
so don't give back the castle guard. Thirukovalar Malayamon categorically denied that. What is the Prime Minister's opinion? Asked the Emperor. What has happened has happened. Now there may be some difficulties in changing the guard of the fort. You have invited us all to discuss and decide on the rights of the kingdom. After that matter is settled, we can take this, said Anuradhar. We can't come to any conclusion without the little bastard. Officer. What's their opinion? Asked Sundara Chola Emperor. I also agree with Malay Aman. My brother failed in his duty. He did not fulfill his responsibility properly. Therefore, the guard of the fort should not be returned to him. Said the Great Reaper. Everyone present was well aware of his brother's desire, so the above response of the Great Punisher surprised everyone. More than that, what the Emperor continued to say caused more surprise and consternation. He said that his brother-in-law was being deceived and that he suspected that the conspirators were coming to the palace itself. He said that he should ask the great Palyavatarayar to go from his palace to another palace and transfer the treasure to another place. I never heeded all those warnings. At this the great reaper cleared his throat once. Hearing that, Sundara Chola stopped his speech. All those who heard what the great saviour said in his loud voice were thrilled. Everyone was pained to know the unspeakable anguish of his words. Officer. Wait a moment. Their brother was the only one who could do so, considering his duty as a minor vindicator. I ordered them not to wake up in my face if they had any complaints about themselves or their young queen. I also rejected the idea of moving them from their palace to another place and placing an army of vassals there. I asked why should I live so fearfully and save this life. The pain in my mind and the sickness in my body had made me hate life. Uncle Palvoer. They are not responsible in any way for any harm that may befall me or my clan. Neither are their brothers. I sought them myself. Hearing the words of the Emperor, the eyes of the great Palyavatarayar were filled with tears. Yes, there is nothing wrong with the little Palyavataray. A young man named Vandiyadevan first came here and Kalantagakangdar warned him. He said that he had spoken secretly with the young queen of Palyavar who came in a palanquin outside the fort. He suspected that he too might be a conspirator along with the enemies of the Chola clan. The signet ring of Palyavar Gadi told me that he had entered the fort and that he must have escaped from here through the secret door of Palvar Palace. I was ignoring all that. Our Prime Minister Anuradhar, who is the best in knowledge, and my rich daughter Ilya Prati were also deceived about Vandiyadeva. They sent important letters through him. Anuradha said at this time, Emperor. I may have been deceived. But the young Brady is not so easily deceived. He sent a lie to Vandiyadeva and asked him to arrange me to watch over his activities. I sent my disciple Alwarkatayan to Elam as well. I was to follow him to Kanchi. So be it. Let us suppose that you two are not deceived by him. Is it true that he and another have escaped from the dungeon? None of you can deny that, can you? If the little rascal had the guard of this fort they would never have gone back. Therefore, Commander. Bring the small rascal at once and bring him to Tanjore. Hand over the garrison of the fort. Take it as my command. All right, Lord. Shall we say goodbye now? Asked General Puthivikrama Kesari. The anger in his voice had subsided. The love and support shown by Sundara Chola in the case of Palyavatarayas had melted the heart of the general and the Seneca attitude that praised character rather than tolerating crime. He was stunned for a moment. Yes, now everyone can go. After the little reaper arrives, we can reconvene and talk about what to do next. I haven't finished talking to my great mother, the old brat, about the right to the kingdom. That too needs some time. Said the emperor. As everyone was leaving, Parthipendra said, Sir. The prime minister has accepted the responsibility of bringing back and confessing Vandiyadeva, a loyal traitor and royal traitor. I want to remind him of that. I will never forget the deadly death of my lifelong friend, Prince Aditha Kari Kalar. I will find the culprit responsible for his death. 
must be punished. He said. The great predator cleared his throat once, like the roar of an ancient lion. The person who had intended to say something then seemed to change his mind. He left without saying anything. Others followed him. On the same evening, by order of the emperor, the charge of guarding the Tanjavur fort was again entrusted to Chinapalyavatarayar. At first he was reluctant to accept it. Objections were also made. He expressed his suspicion that there might be some machinations in this too. After the great Palyavatare explained that this was the emperor's strict order, he resumed the charge of the fort. All but a few of Kajumbalar's soldiers were driven out of the fort. Palavur soldiers started guarding the fort gate and walls as before. This shift has had disastrous consequences. The soldiers of Pavur and the soldiers of Kajumbalar often quarreled and sometimes there was confusion. Long live Bonnie's Selvar. And the slogan, Long live Prince Madhurand Hagar. The slogan was also supposed to arise as competing slogans. These slogans spread all over the country. Public also participated in them. In the next three days, the entire Chola country was in chaos. The verbal fight turned into a hand-to-hand -hand fight and ended up with a stick fight. Trenchers and clubs gave way to swords and hilts. Just like the storm and flood that ravaged the rich Chola country a few days ago, now the raging storm and raging flood spread on all sides and wreaked havoc on the country.